Hello guys, what's up? Welcome to the new tutorial from the uh, SketchUp Arca Studio. Today I'm going to show you how you can create some super realistic render in Enscape. Very simple and easy. We have this tropical architecture villa in here. And this is the assets, personage and the uh, water in this place. You can see the differences in here. And I want to create some realistic render from the uh, exterior of this house. So I'm going to start my job with the view management. So I'm going to press F on my keyboard and click on the camera number two in here. So now we are in the uh, one point perspective and it's really not realistic for these type of houses. So I can change it from one point perspective to the two point perspective. And now I want to click on the visual setting, move it to this place and start my rendering. First of all, I'm going to increase the rendering quality to the medium mode to see what happened in this screen in here. And I have some problem with these HDRI in this place. So I'm going to click on the skybox and change my source from white cube to the urban or town. It depends on you. I prefer to select urban in this place and now it's much better. You can click on the rotation and move the uh, HDRI image in this place very simple and easy so it completely depends on you i prefer to use zero degree for the urban and clouds includes density variety size amount and contrails all of them is zero because i need some clear sky so i will click on the main bar in here and decrease the field of view to focus on my house and target as you can see something like that is really wonderful and I can make it a little bit far than the uh, camera. So some number about 40 degree is really good for this render in here. So I will close it in this place and minimize it in here. So I want to orbit in my SketchUp environment and click on the Enscape Material Editor. So I will click on the sample paint in here and pick the uh, water texture in this place. So I will left click on it and water dark blue detected for me. I want to check the override global wind setting and decrease the intensity of the wind. As you can see, we have some water in here, but I have some problem with the wave setting. So I will decrease the wave's height to see some clear reflection of this house on my water pool. And I want to reduce the scale to the zero to see what happened. The result is something like that and it's really wonderful but it's looked like some mirror and surface for solving this problem you can increase the wave height about four percent something like that and scale up it to the eight percent so now i can move a little bit to the upstairs and this is the uh, better camera shot that we can have in here something like that so I can click on the visual setting, move it in here, and decrease the uh, field of view to reach to some good result for our render. Something about 34 is really good, and close the visual setting. Cassetic intensity related to the water setting is really important, so I'm going to increase it to the 100 to see more brightness in the reflections. So now you can see the reflection of this house on your water, and it's really great and wonderful. If you want to see more details, you can completely decrease the uh, height and the scale to the one percent and one percent. And this is the final result that we have in here. Finally, you can change the water color to the uh, white or blue, something like that. So I prefer to use the uh, white color, and everything is done for me right now. So I will maximize the uh, Enscape environment in here and go a little bit to the downside, something like that one, for example. And now I want to click on the visual setting. So let's get for the uh, rendering. First of all, I'm going to increase the uh, exposure to some number about 57% and increase the depth field a little bit. So I will increase the rendering quality to the high mode and turn off the uh, autofocus. So I'm going to play with the uh, focal point to reach to the best result for the uh, focusing. 
So some place like that for these edges and windows are really great. So I'm going to type 25.66 meter and decrease the depth of field to the attempt person. So in the image bar, I'm going to use the auto contrast to see better results. And I want to see some blue sky in here. For this reason, you can increase the uh, saturation to see some blue sky in this place. But be careful about other colors like the uh, body color and facade design. So 109% is really good. And I'm going to increase the uh, color temperature to some type of cold rendering a little bit about 8600 Kelvin. So motion blur is completely zero and lens flare. As you can see, we have some simple flares in this place. And when I increase the uh, bloom option, I can see these faded images in here. So I'm going to use the uh, bloom option about 9% and lens flare about 59%. So I will decrease the awakening to the 8 and chromatic abbreviation about 0. So I'm going to click on the uh, atmosphere and decrease the sun brightness to see what happened. As you can see, something like that we have created for you and it's really bad because in these places we have some too much darkness. So for improving and fixing this problem, you can adjust sun brightness to some value higher than 60%. For example, 69 or 77% is really good. So I'm going to hold Ctrl and U and change the uh, sun direction. As you can see, I can see the inside of the house with all of the uh, details, the stairs, handrails, dining room, and any type of things like that. So I'm going to hold Ctrl, U and I on my keyboard. And this is the uh, best result I can create right now. Something like that. So nice the sky brightness is not really important, but shadow sharpness helps you to make your shadows in here or interior design much realistic and much sharper. So I'm going to increase the shadow sharpness and you can see the final result in your render. Very simple and easy. For example, 88% is really good and the artificial light brightness includes spotlights. So I'm going to increase it to the 136% and it's really wonderful right now. About the skybox, we don't have some necessary setting, only I change the source of it to the urban and output is good. In the main bar, everything is down for me and I only want to increase the rendering quality to the ultra mode. So now time for the rendering. So I'm going to pick this color out and click on the uh, screenshot button and save it on my desktop. As you can see, it's completely saved this render on the realistic mode and it's really wonderful. So if you like this video, please subscribe our YouTube channel. Thanks for your watching and goodbye.